My butt is wet. My butt is wet, peeps. <laughs> yeah, so this is a trip of smells. We had the smell of nostalgia earlier. I'm sure you understood that. And then just walking through the campgrounds this morning, there's a very unique smell to campground breakfast. And anybody that's been in campgrounds would know what I'm talking about. Talking about Mr. getting some playtime in back there. So we ended up having some condensation in the Trekker 310. Nothing got soaked or anything, just droplets along the two single wall sides. Um, the double wall sides didn't have any. We're gonna pack up into our backpacks and then start a hiking. finally on the trail again and it is super crowded here coming into the campgrounds it's nice but it is really hot all right it's quieted down a little bit less traffic it's just Rugga Mountain sister Rugga Mountain mister Rugga Mountain dad ye faithful few and my squeaky backpack. I have a sinkhole there. There are caves around here. So yeah, this trail has two caves on it. One is called Twin Caves. That one you can only go in if you have a boat. But the other cave is called Bronson Cave. You might be able to get into that one. So we've decided to forego a break and try and make it all the way to the Twin Caves for our first break. is basically the pier where you get on the boat over here mister So that was Twin Caves. It was super cooler down there. Well, it was cool because it was neat, but it was cool because the temperature was less as well. Back on the trail here in a few, resting our legs, resting our shoulders, and then we'll hit it again. faithful few just to see if anybody's still watching if you are thanks a lot we really appreciate it if you're not shame on you movie quote for this adventure is as follows they're all so beautiful why don't I have three heads 
If anyone knows what that one is, I'd be impressed. Let me know in the comments. Look at that nice inviting trail. Doesn't that look nice? It's like, walk on me please, and enjoy. Boring, I mean, it's boring. You're supposed to look around. Use your imagination. Imagine you're treading on a trail to a dragon's lair or something super cool like that. Oh, mister. <laughs> How much time do we have so that? Break number two, since they have this handy bench sitting here for us. We will take advantage of that. Catch that hint of red through there. That is the truck. We are almost there. Rugged Mountain siblings have done fantastic. Yeah, let's do it. Gotta get our pack packs off back here. Look everybody, it's Ray. Ray has gas troubles. I think, I think you need to feed her some better food or something. As promised, here is the super cool, super secret part of this park. Check it out.
He's fast. What is that over there? A Ferris wheel. Oh, a Ferris wheel. Yeah, let's go in. Yeah, see? This would have been the inn. Meals, drink, and lodging. So down here was kind of the restaurant where the travelers would come eat. And then they would go upstairs where the rooms are. And by rooms, I mean one big open room with beds in it. They would go up there, that's where they'd spend the night. And then they would head out because apparently close to here, and right by here, used to be a stagecoach trail. I believe it's that over there. And then the pottery shop. Can I make us some pottery?
All right, well, there's the Pioneer Village for y'all to see. Uh, we are heading out and gonna get something to eat and then head on home. All righty, well, we are all finished with our awesome spring mill adventure. So, hey, we wanna thank each and every one of you for joining us and you all have, have a, a great, great day. day.